Welcome to Bear TV. This is the first edition of Bear Breakdown, and we're your hosts. My name is Kendra Pugh. And I'm Trayvon Benjamin. The Morgan basketball team is preparing for the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, also known as the MEAC Tournament. Morgan State recently played its last game before the tournament. It was against their Baltimore rival, Team Coppin State University. This game was one of the most anticipated games of the year. Let's take a look at what happened. Morgan State versus Coppin State is the biggest game of the year as the two schools go head to head to gain Baltimore bragging rights. This iconic game also draws the biggest crowd at any sporting event Morgan State hosts. Of course, like every year, they put it on uh, the night of senior night, so we got the families coming from everywhere, from all across the uh, uh, country, and then uh, we have the whole Baltimore. You know? It was a special night for the seniors as the cheerleaders were celebrated and two standout seniors, Taiwan Kinley and Philip Carr. The legacy that I really want to leave is for us to be a MEAC tent and to put that ring and that, and that band on the wall. The team's emphasis was to just try to get us out with a win, no matter what. Get me and Taiwan out on a win on our last home game. The Bears did just that as both the guys and the girls won. It was an exciting game and an amazing night. What a time to be a bear. I'm Ryan Dawson, Bear TV News. With an undergraduate degree in applied liberal studies. Morgan State versus South Carolina State is the first team Morgan will play in the MEAC tournament. The game is scheduled to play Tuesday in Norfolk, Virginia, and you can watch it on ESPN3 at 9 p.m. Taiwan Kinley has been a big factor this season since he's came back from the 10-game suspension, and Philip Carr has also been a outstanding performer as well. He's had this is he recorded his 14th double double against Coppin State, and I just think he will play well in the MEAC tournament. But these are only two players. It's no doubt at what they can accomplish and what they are accomplishing. But there's need there need to be other teammates to step up or they will not make it in this tournament. Uh, indeed, indeed. Um, it's a lot of players that can step up. Stanley Davis has been playing terrific mm -hmm. all season. Kyson Rose has been shooting the ball well. Um, and you also have LaPree Pace, another big freshman. He's just been outstanding all season long, especially when Taiwan's has been out. So I think they'll be fine with those guys stepping up. But Carr and Taiwan, they, they have stepped up tremendously. And I think they will continue to step up. So with, they, with those con contributions and then the guys that you just listed, I feel that they will be successful. Indeed, indeed. Um, the, the guy that we have, they will have to stop against South Carolina State is Patrell Rogers. He scored 24 points in his last game against Savannah State. Uh, he, he will definitely have to be the guy they will have to stop on the defensive end. So is it true that you knew Taiwan since high school? Yeah, Taiwan is actually a 2013 state champion for Eleanor Roosevelt High School. Mm -hmm. After that, he moved on to Lamar Junior College. He stood out there. Then he came to Morgan State and stood out here. The Bears will be saying goodbye to seniors Philip Carr and Taiwan Kenley as they finish out their season. Spectacular. And this has been Bear Breakdown for Bear TV. I'm Kendra Pugh. And I'm Trayvon Benjamin. And thanks for watching. <laughs>